Welcome to part two of the short series I am doing on creating characters in Illustrator for games and for animation. In the first video what we did is we took our dragon and we made an, uh, an inked outline. Um, and at this point you should be done with your character. Um, with everything that needs to be separated, all the limbs for animation um, in our layer, layers panel. So right here I have my wings that are separated from the body, his arm, which I'll duplicate later, and the dragon's body. So in this video we're going to be talking about coloring our characters. There's a lot of different ways to do this. Um, this is uh, the fastest way, um, and when you're working, especially on a deadline, the faster you could do things, the better. Um, but with still retaining a good quality. Um, so at this point, let's see, let's start with, I'm going to go ahead in my layers panel, panel and toggle the eye to hide the wings, and I'm gonna hide the arm, just so we have this dragon. Now, I used to create the shapes from scratch. Uh, I used to go in here with the pen tool and create an, uh, the shapes for um, the colors. It's very time consuming and it's like tracing it all over again. So what I like to do now is I like to use life paint. Now there's life paint can be a little tricky because once you convert something to a life paint group it undergoes a lot of new characteristics and changing the artwork which can be damaging especially if you don't know what you're doing or you make a mistake and need to come, come back to it. So as a rule of thumb I always like to just in case um, a mistake happens, I like to take my whole character, drag to the side, hold alt, make a copy. Just so I have an original, just in case something goes wrong with this. Um, I'm going to do it right, so I don't need to make a copy. But what you need to do first is you need to make sure that everything is closed in on your character, meaning there's no open spots. Uh, like if I had a gap here where the, it was just white going through because in the life paint to a degree depending on the settings you have it's not going to paint within that shape um, so what we want to do is I'm going to select everything on this layer and go into object expand okay it's already expanded for me but you'll need to do that that will convert your paths to shapes okay so the next thing I like to do um, you hit K to bring up your life paint tool and I want to make this green. So I already have a green that I like in my swatches panel. I select that. I'm going to come into my live paint group and click. And now that automatically filled everything I need with that green color. Um, this might not be the best color here, but let me just go ahead and use this color to fill in the talons. Let's use kind of a gray for the teeth here. And I'm just going in and clicking on all these spots that I want to color. Uh, I'll put green here for now, and for his eye, I'll do yellow. And on these spikes, I'll fill in with this tannish color. Okay. Hit your selection tool and click on a white space to deselect it. All right, now you can see how quickly I color that. While we're at it, let's go ahead and get these this, uh, this mouth area. I'm just going to quickly paint this with red. That's a darker red, maybe. Maybe I'll switch that. There we go. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now at this point, you think to yourself, okay, I have this group. What I can't do anything else with it. Um, we, we're going to want to expand this life paint group. So we're going to go up to object, life paint, right here, expand. Okay, you might not see anything happen. Um, and when I drag it, it's still going to feel like it's the same. Make sure that you have it selected and you hit Command Shift G to ungroup everything. All right. Now, when I take this, you can see, let me ungroup it one more time. Sometimes it takes a couple times to ungroup it. Don't know why. Um, now you can see my color is cut out. It's its own shape, independent from the inking I did. Here's the tongue cut out. This is really, really handy and really fast. Okay, so now what I like to do is um, I want to create uh, highlights and lowlights to make this character seem not so flat. Um, there's a lot of different ways to do this as well. Um, one of the quickest and best ways I like to uh, do is create, create solid color differences. Um, you could use gradients if you want. It's a little more time consuming, and I have found that when I'm doing stuff for games, 
gradients a lot of times they don't look good there's a lot of banding depending on the color depth that is uh, inputted into uh, the, the build and so I try to avoid gradients especially when I'm doing characters for games and when there are small sizes doing a solid color difference is just as effective and it looks really clean and really good as a gradient okay so to do this I usually like to use the Pathfinder um, box um, there's some newer tools in CS5 and on where you could do a shape builder tool, but I'm kind of old school. I'm really used to the Pathfinder, so I still use that. I use it all the time. I have it by default in my workspace. So let's start with a good shape here. Let's start with this eye. So what I like to do is, since this eye is independent now, I like to grab this eye, hold shift, and drag it straight over to the side and make a copy by holding alt. Okay. Now all I have to do is drag another shape just barely off and hold alt to create another copy. Select those all and I'm going to hit minus front. Now I have a new shape which if I hold shift it'll go right back exactly where it needs to go and I release it. Then you could go up to uh, the recolor in the ap application bar up here, recolor artwork. Go to edit if you're doing multiple colors, you want that little link unjoined uh, right there. And then we're just going to take this slider bar, the little sun there, whatever that is, and make it a little darker. See how that's changing right there? Okay. This seems like a lot of steps, but this can be this can be done really quickly, and it's a really fast, easy way to add highlights and low lights. So I'll do this really quickly. I'm going to take this tongue. I'm going to drag it off, make a copy, offset it. Minus front, edit this with a darker color, bring it down, OK, drag it over, place it. See how quick that was? And it, it, it added a nice little shadow for the tooth coming off, um, so where the mouth closes in here. Um, it's really perfect and a really fast and awesome way to color your artwork. Um, you could do the same thing with highlights. Let me take this and drag this off. I'll make a copy. Okay, and pretty soon you have colors to sample from so you won't need to come back to the recolored box. There's that. I'm going to take another piece on this side, on the right side this time. Minus front, drag it back over. Now I can make a nice highlight. Move this over. Saturation down. There we go. Now I have a nice highlight. See how quickly that was? I was able to do that. And when you have um, those colors already there, you can sample from, from them really quickly. As you can see, hit I for the eyedropper, sample that color, bring it over. Let's do the highlight. Let me offset it to the left so we have a piece on the right. Bring it over, holding shift. Press I to, to select that color. And there we have a highlight. I could toggle those in the layers panel uh, with the brackets to bring them forward. You see how quick that is. I could I could do this character really, really fast. One thing to keep in mind when doing this, let's bring up the arm. I'm going to hide the dragon layer. You see how this is going to be, this is open. There's no line closing that because that would look pretty strange in design if I had a black solid line here. Something we could do is temporarily make a line so our live paint will work. So I'm going to go to the arm layer, press P to bring up my pen tool. Let's just create a line connecting these. Give it a black stroke. That'll do. Now select all of those. Object, expand. Press K to bring up my live paint. Hit my green color. Now I closed it in. You're not going to want to keep that there, so you're going to make sure it's selected. Go to Object, Live Paint, Expand. And we're going to ungroup it. Sometimes you have to do it twice. I don't really know why. Ungroup it with Command Shift G. And now I can take that piece I didn't want and delete it. There we go. Let's quickly make a little low light using that same technique of copying it, taking that, recolor artwork, bring down darkness, OK, shift drag it over, put it in place. There we go. Um, if you want to, you could also do highlights. It's a pretty quick way with the pen tool still. Uh, just creating a path. I always just start with white. 
until I put the color in later that I want. Put the stroke up, object, expand. Let's make it that green by color sampling it. Go up to every color artwork and put the brightness up. There's the highlight. Okay, if uh, you're just gonna have to continue that whole process until you have your character done. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I'll try to answer them. Thank you and coming soon in part three, we're gonna start talking about prepping this and getting it ready for animation. Um, I'll be using After Effects.